Okay, my presentation for my CIS class 100 is about the ethical and moral implications of robotic technology. I titled it Moral Machines. Introduction. Isaac Asimov, the th author of The Three Laws of Robotics. Previously, most people know him from iRobot. He talks about the idea of robots eventually becoming part of human daily lives. But the three laws state, a robot may not injure, harm a human being, or by inaction allow a human being to come to harm. A robot must obey all order given to it, unless such orders would inflict conflict with rule one. A robot must always try and protect and preserve itself, unless such actions conflict with the first two rules. Pretty much the main argu arguments of modern day robot technology are what set of guidelines, if any, should we have in order to protect the well-being of our human race against the consistent advancement of technology, and the second one being, which is more of a philosophical and psychological question, what are the moral and ethical implications associated with these new social robots? Robotic technology has proven it is an amazing technology. It can be used for jobs that are dangerous for human health, for people who have disabilities, it can be used for humans with Alzheimer's who need help throughout their daily lives and these robots can help keep these humans on track. It can be used for robots can go out and pick up toxic waste without having to worry about human health. Building this mach these machines is practical. This is no longer a theory for debate. All of the references clearly agree on, but where agreeing becomes fuzzy, once again, is the fine line of how to treat these robotic forms and how to create a system of laws that protect the people while being able to get as much production possible from, an, from humanoid intelligence. Robotic technology has been around since ancient times, from mechanical bird built in 350 BC during the Greek and Roman Empire to the water clock founded in China in the 6th century BC, um, even after the, after the Industrial Revolution is when it really kicked off, while, while electricity became more common to, in households, the first uses of modern robots was in factories as in industrial robots, built to do a repetitive task that did not involve human assistance. Since then, robotic technology has consistently advanced and evolved into what some are now able to walk and talk like humans. Robots have replaced humans in the assistance of performing those repetitive and dangerous tasks, which humans prefer not to do or are unable to do due to size limitations, or even those such as in outer space or at the bottom of the sea where humans could not survive the extreme environments. The advancement of autonomous robotics have caused awareness among humanity and how they may act in society. So we look at the rules and regulations for these robotic technolo this robotic technology, and the first question you might ask, who is to blame when something goes wrong? Who should impose the rules or sanctions on these companies in order to maintain a safe and secure environment? With the rapid advancement of technology, that have been, there have been few restrictions or rules intact for robotic technology. You can go out and create anything robotic and there is no set of guidelines or rules that engineers have to follow. The moral and ethical issues, however you decide to word it, whether being machine ethics, machine morality, artificial morality, the prospect of building these moral machines have created both a sense of concern and enlightenment. If we are to develop these robots with a moral compass, where does the moral compass come from? One of the main afflictions is religious affliction. One of more of the touchy subjects, but is still viable nonetheless. Some religious cultures don't believe in this kind of advancement. They consider an emulation or a copy of a human being to be blasphemous and unholy. This would be like doing God's work. Loss of jobs and change in workforce. People always complaining that worked at the Ford River Rouge factory in Detroit and how these robotic advancements have taken their jobs. But you can't blame the factories for them taking these jobs when they can do something at 10 times faster rate without the possibility of a health hazard, no insurance needed. 
we are needing more techno technologically skilled people than standard industrial workers these days because these robots can do the jobs better, cleaner, and more efficiently. Is this a good or bad thing? That's debatable. But from an economic standpoint, it's clearly a good thing. If you can create something at a much more efficient rate than before, that's an advancement. And that would be considered a good thing. But if you're a person trying to hold a 9 to 5 job and this thing comes in and takes your job and you lose your paycheck, then it's not necessarily a good thing. The moral compass is the biggest thing with the, with the ethical issues. In order to develop these autonomous robots, we need to develop a higher understanding of ourselves as well as our own decision making and our thought processes. How could a robot develop a humane moral compass if everyone has their own ideological opinion of what is right and what is wrong? Who is to decide what is right and what is wrong is the big question. Autonomous robots may be artificial intelligence, but if something is self-aware of what it is doing, then it can understand its role in the world, making it not a robot, a robot at all but an intellectual with a moral thought process. These robots can literally change the way we think and change the way we operate as a human civilization. Modern day scientists, modern day psychologists, philosophers all talk about this day when this day is actually coming now. How we approach it and how we handle this is the big question. They're already developing neurological technologies to install into these robotic humanoids. They aren't simply like accepting of the fact that oh it can do one task. They're trying to get these robotic robotic technology to literally be like human beings themselves. Now when it comes down to what is right and what is wrong we, as human beings, must figure that ourselves for ourselves before we develop such an advanced, advanced creature, however you want to word it. This is a time of great enlightenment, in a way, but it's also a time of great fear. we got to approach this slowly, and we've got to approach this the correct way in order for it to work out. Thank you.